Yeah. All right, Sean's been talking about the weather lately, mm -hmm. and believe it or not, it's going to hit single digits starting Ouch. Sunday. Now this cold and windy weather, of course, it can do a lot of damage to your home. Yep, State Farm said over the past year, we in Indiana, we ranked 15th in claims related to frozen pipes with nearly $20 million paid out. That's insane. Mm -hmm. Our Allison Gormley tells us what's the deal with how to protect your house. Nobody wants frozen pipes, so here's a few things you can do to your home to try and prevent any future damage. A good place to start? Disconnecting your garden hose and making sure the bib is sealed up. I like to see silicone around the outside of this and underneath there because again, it's not the necessarily the temperature, it's the wind that's coming into it. Jeremy Worland with Isley Plumbing said after you disconnect the hose, make sure you know where your water meter is outside and where your shutoff valves are inside just in case there's a problem. This one, it's a ball valve, so it moves very easily. In line with the pipe is on, Okay. across the pipe is off. If your water softener is in the garage, throw a blanket on top. We want the piping to not see the cold air. Finally, once the cold wind is here, leave these open, we'll take any of that out. So it'll allow for the airflow to come in, go out, but it keeps that um, the house temperature. And drip any faucets that share an outside wall. Moving water, it's like a river. With the valve shut off, you've now a lake and how that can freeze. Allison Gormley, 13 News. All right, always good advice. If you want to see more of Allison's What's the Deal segment, she has her own streaming show. You can check it out on WTHR+. Plus which is available pretty much anywhere you stream content. Download the app now on Roku, Fire Stick, and Apple TV. We 